Guten Tag. Hello, thank you for joining me. That's the Hearts Mountains over there. And in this video, I'm going to show you all around the Hearts Mountains. We're going to go for a walk. I'm going to try and visit as much of the Hearts Mountains as possible. And if you're thinking, is he really going to walk it all in one go? The answer is yes. But not quite those Hearts Mountains. Down here is the Hearts Mountains in miniature. I found this model village in Venegoeda. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you around the Hearts Mountains in miniature. And as you know, if you've seen my videos before, model villages are one of my favourite places to visit. So you can probably see I'm excited to be at a model village. Now there's all sorts of buildings and I understand they're all real buildings, all replicas of some places. Now admittedly, I don't know where all of them are, but I think when we get towards more Venigaroda and the Hearts Mountains themselves, I'll be a bit more familiar with the buildings. So it does, it does tell you what they are. So um, like that, that's the Rat House. Gosler Rat House is like a term for town hall. Behind us, now it's, I've seen pictures of this. Admittedly, I don't know what it's called, but it's a big, um, I think it's a coal mining complex. I suspect there's people, you know, saying, how can you not know where it is? But yeah, I'm fairly sure it's a big coal mining complex. We'll have a look at that. I promise you I'll know a bit more of what some of the other places are. There are model railways here. Look at that one there. There's two, there's gauge one trains go around. It looks like you have to cycle those bikes. And as you cycle the bikes, you make the power to make those little locos. So, as the people on the bikes, yeah, see, so they're cycling a bit more madly. And, um, no, they've stopped now. The trains will go around. But there is a, a more interesting model railway than that for those of you who like model railways. So that's quite a cool idea. You know, makes people feel like they can participate. So, as I said, here's this huge mining complex. You can see a Pit head gear on the top. If we walk around the side, what I've noticed around the back, they've done a trompoy so you can sort of see various things. There's a backdrop to this stately home, but then look, you can see below the pit head gears, see how they've painted the winding gear. That is actually just a painting. That's a good example of a trompoy. Uh, an example of a trompoy I've featured in a video before was another model village in Beaconsfield, Beaconscott in Beaconsfield, Buckinghamshire. There was um, a painting of a tunnel on the miniature railway. And anyway, that's inside the mine. So I have featured trompoys before. So it's quite nice to find a, another model village with a trompoy. Now here, here we have a, a big castle. It's quite nicely laid out. They've got these sort of grassy areas. There's the odd buildings around. As I said, there is another, well, there's a couple more railways which we're going to go and have a look at we get to here now it's not going but it's a cool model there's some cable cars look and the cable cars they come out of here and they just go across above the path so you can get really close to them because i wouldn't get this close as they're moving but look see don't normally get that close to a cable car and they go off up there and we get to here we get to uh, another that we get to a quarry and there's a, a railway, another railway. Now, I've noticed the train isn't going. We can make it go, look. It says, push the button for 10 seconds. So if I push this, I'll turn the camera towards the train. <laughs> Obviously didn't push it quite for 10 seconds. Let's try again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I probably should have done that in German, shouldn't I? I'm just by drive here from the States. And then I forget my German. Anyway, here's the train. What I'll do, I think I'll make another video without me talking, just of all the trains. I'll let you watch this one go around. And it disappears off into the tunnel. I expect it will go around and come back to where it started. Let's now go to the bit I'm probably most excited about. Let's go and find some more trains. A lot of nice churches here. A lot of them I've seen pictures of when I've visited the area. This is possibly one of the most impressive. This is the castle at Quidlinburg. I have been, I've been to Quidlinburg once before because it's on another branch of the Hearts. Probably just heard that whistle. So I've been up to the real one of this castle. That's quite impressive. And um, let's look at this one. This one here, I just noticed the models of detail looking still inside. 
But let's go to a railway station. Here we are, look, this is Gernerader railway station. There's a steam loco sat there, 996101. I think they call her Fifi or Fifo, and I have ridden behind her once, so I'm proud to have had her for haulage. She's pulling the open wagon. She's sitting there making a noise like she wants to go. I think if I press this button, I might be able to make her go. Nothing's happened yet. My hand is on that button. Um, well, if she doesn't go, we'll go and find some others. So that's Gurner over there. Oh, there we go. She's going. You can hear other whistles. This is Gurner over So there's a, they've modelled some of the heart systems. Off she goes. And disappear off through that crossing marker. Now my theory is, if we walk to here, I can see another railway station. Here we are, yeah, this is Dryanon. And Dryanon Hone is quite well known amongst narrow gauge enthusiasts. It's the junction of the line from Vernigar Road up the Brocken to the line down to Nordhausen and eventually, um, well, Gerda Road, Val, Esterfield, Tumblr. There's a diesel rail car, I can hear a train coming. So I think that way must go towards Vernigar Road. And this way goes to Gurner Road and the Brocken. I can hear a train come. So let's wait and see what happens. And then what we'll do, we'll follow the railway in both directions, see what we can see. So here's one of the Chunky Hearts locos. There's definitely something coming. It's like being on a real railway, you can hear it pounding up the hill. Oh, it's not the loco we saw. It must be a train down from the Brocken. So with this one arrived, that one can probably go. I don't know what happened to our other train though, unless she's waiting at the signal. She must be around the corner. Maybe if I go up to the bridge a bit off the sea. So that's looking down on Brian Horn Station. So I can just see the junction just there in the bushes. So I think what happens here, standing from this. Yeah look, she is look, this train's departing now. Our train we're waiting for, she's had to wait for this one to go and that one's going now so that's going to go up the Brocken this one's going down towards Wernicke right so let's watch there we go I could spend all day here watching this train and now she'll go under the path and descend down to Wernicke Road. This is very relaxing. I'm just like lying, lolling about on the path, watching trains. So we'll have to go and have a look at Wernigerode quite soon, but we've also got the Brocken to climb. And I think it's going to be a lot easier than climbing the real Brocken, which is somewhere up over there. Um, oh, and the other train, the train we saw leaving um, Gurner Road, shit, just pulling into the station now. I think what would be a bit more interesting, oh, and that looks like that's the signal box where they control everything from. I found another station here, Scherke. So this is the station on the Brocken. And I can just see in the distance the top of the Brocken. And over there is the top of the real Brocken. So we've got two Brockens. And funny enough, the little Brocken looks big because we're closer. And um, so I'm expecting the train we just saw depart to have gone around and coming into this station. I can hear a train climbing the Brocken. So I think we're gonna see some action. And then what we'll do, or we might get a train come down the Brocken. Oh, you know, it's coming in. So there's a train arriving at Shirker. We it might have to wait for a train to come down the Brocken. So what we'll do, we'll, actually, what's going on? I can just see the top of the Brocken. I don't know which way to go. It's, um, I'm looking, down there to Wernigerode, which we're going to have a look at properly. I can just see the other train arriving. 
Um, right, this one's coming in, so let's watch this. Okay, so she stopped. So have we got another train coming down? The great thing with line siding here is you can just walk ahead and find out. There's a train descending the Brocken. So we may have to wait for this one to come all the way round. But I think if we look here, is she about to go? She's off. The other line's there. We won't watch the train pass there because I want to chase this one. Um, let's follow this one up the Brocken. So as that goes across the viaduct, we get to this next vantage point. I remember doing the equivalent in real life, standing about here on top of the Brocken once in the snow, waiting to see a train. Here we go, this is coming along. And then the top station's up there, um, which you can't really see. Other than that, the village is fantastic. You just can't overly see the top station. You can only sort of look up to it. Let's watch this train divider. climbing the Brocken, just like only a few miles away from here, her full-size meter gauge locos do. Now, I said we'd go down to Wernigerode. Here is Vesten Tor. And, oh, one of the Malays has come out and it's on the turntable. I wonder if we're going to see a Malay go up the Brocken, because they do sometimes, and you can see them out and about. On this side, there's a nice little pond with a couple of goldfish in. Oh, and of course, can't be the hearts of Ormish Germany without seeing a Trabant. There's a Trabant there. So this is the line, this here, that goes, that was up to Dreinenholm. I think this is actually Venegaroda Vestentor, because that is the Vestentor, the Western Gate. The steam loco we saw descending the Brocco is just moving forward. And the Malay is going around there. So whether the Malay's going up the mountain, I'm not sure. What we'll do, we'll just sit here and watch and then you can probably see in the distance there's various other buildings so I'm going to show you some more I can see a couple of churches which I recognise I think there might be another railway related thing oh she's now shunting her coaches oh and she's derailed she has just um, steam locos derailed and crashed into her, her own carriages and the Malay is sat there and um, I think that man is going to go and fix her so what I'm going to do I think that we'll, we'll leave it. I'd, we'll go and um, we'll come back and see the trains later. Let's go and explore more of the hearts because there's more of the hearts to see. There's, there's, there's a lot of churches here. And there's another church. Like I said, I recognise all of these, but I can't always necessarily put a finger to it. Um, yeah, the gentleman's putting the train back on, so I'm going to leave him to it and have a look. There's a little cafe. Could have an ice cream on it, but yeah gonna go to oh yeah I've seen some couple of fairly important buildings it's just churches everywhere it is it's really nice it also when you pay to go it cost me 10 euros there's a whole park with all sorts of other things which I don't know if I'm gonna have time to visit today but I'm just I'm amused with the model village I don't you know it's, it's great there is all this other stuff so if you were thinking of visiting here you might want a full day here not an afternoon here um so yeah now this is quite exciting this is what we did with the brock we can do it again now this is vernigaroda castle and look over there is also vernigaroda castle the real one and the model one but of course the model one from this angle looks much bigger i have been up there but the strange thing is i've only been up there in the dark i went up there once um before the days of taking pictures on my phone i went up there when i had a traditional camera and i looked down on the town and it looked really nice all the lights and everything so i went to take my camera out of the bag to take this picture 
when I looked, the town had vanished. There was nothing, it was just pitch black. And it, what actually happened was it in a power cut. But for some reason, the castle's lights were all still on. So I somehow found my way back down in pitch black down to the castle. And everywhere was dark, but there was this castle just floating, this lit up castle floating in the sky. It was really quite strange. Now, look at this, there's a huge cathedral there. Now that other cathedral, I recognise that as Halberstadt, which I've changed trains at before. I've not actually ever got out there. Some would like to get out because Halberstadt has a tram system. And there's a tram. And it's one of these things, I've got to press the button, so let's make the tram go. Here we go, here comes the tram. Halberstadt is one of those really small towns that has trams. It's got like 44,000. It's got two tram routes, but there's another one that only runs at weekends. It's just like, why can't we have exciting things like that in Britain? We have trams, I know, but only in really big towns and cities. Imagine somewhere of 44,000 in England having trams. So that is the Halberstadt tram passing Halberstadt Cathedral or Dom. As a German so where does it go? I see it just it just runs to a little dead end over there. There's also a lookout tower I've noticed. So there goes the little tram and it just terminates there behind the bush. I think I've shown you most things. I like I say I don't necessarily always want to show you everything because if you come here it's nice for you to you know discover it. Because of course if you were coming to the hearts you probably would like to ride the railways, that's the main thing. There's meter gauge trains, steam trains take up the block and it's fantastic. I'm of course going to be doing that during this week and there's many British um, people come to the Hearts. It's, it's very popular. I've come here with Rail Trail Tours. So if you look on Rail Trail Tours website, they do many trips to the Hearts and you always get free time like I have. So I've been able to come and explore. Look at this, there's a, a ruined abbey. It just makes me now want to see, I see ruined abbeys as much as I like the railways. It makes me want to think, I'm going to find out where that ruined abbey is. and make a video on that ruined abbey so maybe one day i will maybe one day i'll find it the real one um i'm not going to go and get lost but there's also a maze here so it, it's a nice family park that you can come and visit at, at this moment of speaking i haven't actually looked around the rest of the park i don't think there's any form of train ride here miniature or narrow gauge but um the railway side of things is more than made up for it so i think i've shown you everything i want to show you there's another castle i'm going i'm gonna have to look at all these places and see where they are and go and visit them all but that, that's something i'd have to do over the rest of my life oh quidlinburg rat house yeah that and yeah that's a nice view quidlinburg rat house and castle i think um that'd be nice to finish oh yeah the mallet is just pulling into dry and horn so I was gonna say, it'd be nice to finish the railway. So she must be going up the mountain. So if we have a look here, yeah, there's one of the Malays. And she's even got the heritage stock because sometimes you'll see charter trains going up the mountains. Oh, that diesel rail car that's been sat there all afternoon has gone, oh, it's here, look. So sometimes you, you'll see charter trains as well. The, the big chunky 2.10.2s work most of the trains, but you will see Malays out occasionally. So this is made into here. I feel we need to finish with a trail. The Malay is still down at Dryan Horn. Um, I think there's, going by the way people are positioned, there's another train. Yes, yeah, so a train has just come down the Brocken. So the Malay is going to go up the Brocken. So the Hearts Railways, it's a meter gauge network and it is technically real steam because it's not quite like your typical British railways. Heritage Railways, it's a network rather than just one line. Most of the steam trains go up the Brocken, but you also do get them working out of Quidlinburg. I think there's still some work out of Nordhausen. There's various rail cars as well. Not quite as, not so many like that, more modern rail cars. And down at Nordhausen, there's a tram network and you get tram trains that run up the narrow gauge line. So there is, you know, plenty to do in this area. You could easily spend a week here. Yes, there's the real Brocken up there. Um, I just want some. Oh, is this going to go, this rail car? It's making a noise like it might be about to go. I'm not sure if it's going up or down. I'd have thought going up. But, um, yeah, let's see. 
tell you what I'm going to do, what I can see happening is um, I'm going to change my mind. I'm going to go down, back down where it's nice and peaceful. I can hear the train just right on top of the bottom. Let's go and finish the video with a train arriving back at Venigaroda, where most great day outs in the heart start and finish up. I can even be lazy enough to sit down. So the train is just coming. See where the people are over there. And just descending the hill. Let's see what's going on. So since the unfortunate incident earlier on, one of the diesel locos now has got some of the wagons. Uh, so there's been a bit of shunting going on. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment. And from near a miniature Veston tour station,